my name is Jack Sprague, and I'm the uh, president. My uh, honor and uh, privilege to serve as president of this great institution. And I want to thank you very much for coming to this great celebration. Uh, you know, uh, my uh, field is uh, history, a uh, field that I did my graduate work in. And I uh, spent a lot of time in the National Archives. And carved in stone over the entrance to the National Archives are the words, what's past is prologue. And I had often uh, a lot of time to reflect on the meaning of those words uh, as I pursued my craft in history. And uh, uh, an occasion like the 40th anniversary or 40th birthday is a time for us to reflect about what has gone in the past, uh, what has been our prologue. It has brought us to where we are today. So those are very wise words. and. Uh, uh, it means that we are uh, the beneficiaries today of a magnificent work that was uh, accomplished by those who came before us. Some are gone now, uh, and some are retired, and uh, we want to uh, take advantage of their knowledge of the great history of this institution. We have two faculty members, uh, Dr. James Pelletier and Dr. Al Roy, if they're here, they, uh, they came from the very first year, so they're still with us, going strong. Uh, and uh, so we take advantage of their institutional knowledge as well. But what's past is prologue. What has come before us is, uh, explains how it is uh, we are at the present. And of course, it, it gives us guidelines for the future. The past is the present and the future too. I like to use that uh, when I talk in, to my uh, students in history. So, uh, I want to, uh, I'll have more to say about that. I, I, I always have more to say about history. Uh, but uh, I, uh, we have a couple of people who uh, very kindly agreed to come, and they must leave uh, quickly, and uh, I want to get them uh, to uh, say a few words to you, a few words of greeting. And I want to start with the mayor of Fall River, uh, Edward M. Lambert, Jr., Mayor Lambert, a great supporter of this community. President Sprague, I thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. And you know, it was about 40 years ago that there was a, a song that uh, was in the top 40, which had as one of its lines, someone left the cake out in the rain. <laughs> well, thankfully, this cake is indoors. And what a beautiful job and a, and a great symbol of celebration for this great college. Bristol Community College, in the four decades uh, since the process began of building this campus, but more importantly, filling it with the young minds and talents of the people in this community, in this region, has been so precious to Fall River and the South Coast region, and to all the families who have been impacted by it one way or the other. And certainly that has happened in my family and in yours and in so many ways. My wife and my mom are both proud alums of this great college. But most importantly, what it has meant to the people of Fall River is very, very significant. I've often referred to Bristol Community College as a jewel in the crown of Fall River, and that is very true because today, 40 years after its inception, it shines just as brightly as it ever has. It is a vibrant place. It is, it is under great leadership from Dr. Jack Sprague and from this board of trustees who recognizes that it's not just about what you learn in the classroom, but applying that talent and that mind power to Fall River, its economic development, its educational attainment, and is a great symbol of where the road to success lies through education. We need to make sure that on this 40th anniversary, that people at the state level and elsewhere, and we have a great state legislative delegation that supports BCC, by the way, Representative Sullivan, Representative Rodriguez, Representative Haddad, we're lucky to have them. But we need to continue somehow to convince people across the Commonwealth and people at the State House that investments in education are incredibly important, that access to what happens in the hallways and the classrooms of this campus for each and every one of you is vital, and that access cannot be denied to maybe many others who are not here with us today because that access has been limited due to lack of state support. We need to make sure that we continue to send the message that not only do we celebrate 40 years, but for us to be able to celebrate the 50th anniversary here 10 years from now, we need to send a message about how important BCC is and that it must be supported by state officials and others. 
We realize what we have. Let's celebrate it. Let's not only enjoy cake today, but let's enjoy each other's company, knowing that you all are part of something very, very important to this community in this region. I have a proclamation that I'd like to read and present to President Sprague if I could. Whereas in December 1965, Bristol Community College was chartered as a public two-year community college in the city of Fall River. And whereas it was established to provide access to career and transfer education for the people of southeastern Massachusetts and the promise of a better life for the region. And whereas more than 25,000 people have graduated from Bristol Community College, with most entering the local workforce as greatly needed health care workers, teachers, public safety workers, business executives, and skilled workers of all professions. And whereas Bristol Community College freely opens its doors to its whole community, inviting residents to benefit from its many resources, and whereas Bristol Community College is celebrating its 40th anniversary, now, therefore, I, Edward M. Lambert, Jr., Mayor of the City of Fall River, do hereby proclaim December 9, 2005, as Bristol Community College Day in the City of Fall River. It's signed by myself as mayor. It also comes from Mayor Roland Damaris, who 40 years ago signed the initial paperwork and the initial charter that helped make this happen, and all the mayors who served in between. We all recognize how important BCC has been. Let us hope that all of us who follow, students, elected officials, presidents, and the like, continue to remember how important a treasure we have right here on this campus. God bless you all, and thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Lambert. Uh, we have uh, uh, no stronger supporter uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the Commonwealth, and certainly our service area, than Mayor Lambert, who is uh, always there when we need his help and his guidance. I now want to introduce to you the chair uh, of our Board of Trustees, uh, who has been a, a, a instrumental in shaping the way that the college has evolved over the last few years. Uh, it's my honor to introduce to you Richard B. Wolfson. Richard. Thank you, President Sprague. We would never leave that out of the ring. It's with great pride that I welcome you on behalf of the Board of Trustees to our Fall River Charter Day celebration. What a grand opportunity to celebrate all that BCC means in this community, in this region, and in this state. From humble beginnings in borrowed quarters 40 years ago down on Durfee Street, it has grown and matured to serve thousands of people in a quiet and effective manner. As part of our celebration today, I'm also pleased to announce that our day has taken on statewide importance. I have here a citation from Governor Romney, who has declared this day, December 9th, Brit uh, Bristol Community College Day in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is Bristol Community College's anniversary, but every day, in myriad ways, we are the ones who get the gifts. We receive access to a quality education in this community. We receive service from the well-trained workers in critical industries, health care, public safety, business information systems, engineering technology. But most of all, and of greatest importance, we all receive the social benefit of a well-educated community. For these and many other reasons, I'm very proud to serve as chair of the board of this great institution as it continues to change and grow and mature. I know we will all continue.
be forwarded by the clerk of the House of Representatives to Bristol Community College. It's signed by the Honorable Salvador F. De Macy, Speaker of the House, the clerk of the House, Stephen James, and it's offered by the entire Bristol County Legislative Delegation. Representative Robert Correa, myself, Representative Michael Rogers, Representative David Sullivan, Representative Patricia Haddad, Representative Antonio Cabral, Representative James Fagan, Representative Robert Becerra, Representative Philip Travis, Representative John Quinn, Representative William Strauss, Representative Steve Canessa, Representative John Lever, and last but not least, my good friend, Representative Elizabeth Morrow. Congratulations, happy anniversary, happy birthday. Indeed, while we're holding the palette in its infancy, of the phenomenal growth 
from the surrounding areas have been very important to have been the recipients of the learning opportunities that the college has provided. As beneficiaries of these favorable process in education, they should value the achievements that they acquired at the college. The staff, faculty, students, and alumni should be proud of the celebration because the commitment made to the community 40 years ago has continued to champion the cause of education. Congratulations on the special anniversary. Sincerely, John F. Terry, United States Senate.
stickers uh, to alum, uh, alumni and alumni, maybe, uh, across the uh, service area. Uh, I hope that it reflects the impact that uh, Bristol Community College is a vivid demonstration of our influence on the community uh, in terms of economic return to the community, uh, the uh, investment in a workforce uh, uh, for the community, uh, the educated uh, levels of the population, uh, just as a rich resource for uh, the community that goes from Adamar to Taunton to Fall River to New Bedford. Uh, we're, we're, we're making the impact, we continue to do so. We want to reflect on the wonderful uh, efforts and accomplishments that have passed. We want to celebrate the future, and we want to look forward to a promising future as well. We continue to grow. Uh, we are now, uh, I think when I got here, we were the seventh or eighth in size of the 15 community colleges. This semester, we are number three. We have grown in, in size, and we need space, I might want to add. Uh, but uh, we are very proud of our growth and the impact that we've had, the collaborative partnerships. You've seen uh, people from the community here, elected officials, uh, we, uh, business people, all here because uh, to, to uh, help celebrate this occasion because of the impact that Bristol has had with them. And that's what we're all about, is service, service, service. Uh, so, I want to invite everyone now uh, to join uh, us in the ceremony of cake uh, cutting. I want to thank Chef Carissimo and the Culinary Arts Program. So we got a lot of eating to do this this morning. So we're looking at